Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Company of Heroes 3 Italian campaign playthrough where we've just defended Salerno from an incoming threat, where we're about to take Alta Villa from the Nazis, and then push up to Naples. Securing Naples is going to help us in a few different ways, folks, because just as a quick reminder, as far as the uh, companies that we can requisition are concerned, the U.S. Armored Company is actually locked behind the capture of either Naples or Anzio, and Naples is right there, and we have two companies very close to it, so why don't we go ahead and push further north and secure it. Plus, that'll give us an additional port, and that should allow us to requisition additional resources and keep this war machine running. But that's all going to have to wait until next turn because all of our companies have used up all of their action points and movements. So uh, that does have to wait for just a moment, though we do still have one or two things we can do this turn because we are capped up as far as all of our resources are concerned. And I want to make sure that when supplies actually arrive, we don't find ourselves in an awkward position where our uh, new supplies don't get added to our existing stockpile because we're already at our limits. That would be extremely shameful. So in the interest of making sure that doesn't happen, and of course, with the option to actually pick up some of these supply drops, should we find ourselves in a desperate need for additional supplies, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of bombarding. So the uh, South Dakota class ship here should be able to use its battleship bombardment on Naples just to soften it up a little bit before we arrive. Uh, again, it's got two of these shields. That means that uh, it needs to be hit three times to actually capture it. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's an actual company defending it as well. So this bombardment is a little bit more blind than I would ideally have it be. I suppose I could instead move to this buoy first and then uh, scout it out a little bit. This should give us some intel. I just hope it's not dangerous for our ship to end up over here. So why don't we go ahead and make our way over? Shouldn't be too difficult. It is one step here. And then we'll have some vision while we bombard, allowing us to potentially take care of other enemy threats in the area, which there are plenty of. And uh, there is also, as I kind of predicted, some uh, naval batteries as well. So these guys did cause a fair bit of damage over here. We're looking okay despite that. That second set kind of uh, worried me there. Okay, you can you can stop firing. Maybe that's just going to keep going as like a permanent animation. Fair enough. Either way, so what do, we, what do we have here? We've got the coastal gun emplacement. Coastal gun, that's what I meant. Set naval battery. I meant coastal gun emplacements. Uh, and they have over here anti-aircraft emplacement that is currently firing away at our ship. Uh, this is also anti-air. Okay, I'm glad I sent the ship in to investigate because if we sent in our uh, recon plane, it would have been downed. It's already so low on health, so it would have absolutely been demolished. Now, with this intel, we can actually target our bombardment a bit more precisely just to make sure we take out as much as possible these guys are facing where you are looking really out this way no there you go you are looking in what direction so they're covering the road over here fair enough so that's good to know and in that case let's go ahead and get our uh, bombardment over here just to cover all of this and clear it all out while softening naples up as well good stuff good stuff this will help us out tremendously and I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I went into scout. While we could have lucked out and hit those uh, uh, emplacements as well, luck isn't something you want to rely on time and time again in the middle of a war, right? So that's that taken care of. We'll want to try and take care of these guys as well. In fact, can our artillery over here fire? No, it can't. We have enough uh, munitions, but we don't have an action point. Fair enough. So with that done, I think it's time to uh, end our turn, as there isn't much else we can actually do right now. So... Let's see what the AI gets up to, and uh, let's hope it's not too troubling. So this is going to keep freaking me out, as is that. They've softened up territory that belongs to them, as far as I can tell. So I'm a little confused as to what's going on up there. I just don't know. Maybe it's trying to bait me into something, but what do we have here? Oh my. This is unexpected. How much damage are you going to do? Holy crap, a lot. And that's just one ship. Secure, we should head toward Rome. The port of Naples and the Foggia airfield are both good choices for our next objective. Alternatively, targeting Potenza would give us control of a central hub and a stronger hold on the region before we move north. I mean, that is potentially a good idea, I suppose. Commander, now that we've got Salerno under control, we need to decide where we're headed next. But I feel like Naples was the original idea, and we've already put in some work here, so we should probably stick to that original plan. Otherwise, the damage we've taken on this ship over here is completely uh, 
pointless, right? It's been it's been wasted. We took so much damage. I was not expecting this movement over here. Let's go ahead and aim to capture Naples. I think that's the right call. Right away, Commander. Now stick to the uh, stick to the original plan. Increase our foothold by capturing Naples. What can we actually do over here? Can I open fire? How do I... My companies have unlocked detachments. Understood. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these detachments then before we get distracted by the collapse of this ship. Sure, why not? Now's the time for it. Let's go ahead and select uh, our uh, Indian artillery. What do we have here? Detachments can be purchased to gain new abilities and improve a company's auto-resolve power. Sounds good. How do we do that? Down over here. Oh, no, emplacements are separate. So in some detachments unlock the ability to build emplacements such as howitzers, anti-aircraft guns, and supply caches. Ah, interesting. So we can, as I assumed, we can, in fact, build our own emplacements as well. Understood. So if we take a look at our options here, we've got the anti-aircraft detachment. We've got the Tommy detachment. We have the howitzer detachment and the detachment slot. Okay, so, so far we can only have three, I assume. And then we can add an additional slot, or can we only have one and then add an additional slot to unlock a second? I guess we'll find out in due time. So the anti-aircraft attachment allows the construction of the anti-air emplacement, which passively attacks enemy aircraft. Cool. The Tommy detachment unlocks the encircle target ability, which immobilizes an enemy company. That could be very helpful. We have the howitzer detachment, which allows the construction of the howitzer emplacement, which fires a long-range barrage. Cool. And then that's the empty slot. Whereas if we look at field defenses... We'll have the anti-air emplacement and the howitzer emplacement after we have unlocked the appropriate detachments. Okay, fair enough. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, now, how do we want to? How do we want to do this? So Naples actually doesn't have a company defending it, so that's going to be easy enough to do. But what's the situation over here? Do I want to pull back? How do I repair you? I have to be near a friendly seaport. So theoretically, I should be able to take Naples and then heal this ship up right over here, as opposed to having to return to uh, Salerno. And that should actually work out quite nicely. We have enough munitions to get an additional bombardment going. So let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, get this company barrage from the Indian artillery. Just too far away. That's all right, because we are going to move forward if we can get far enough. Oh, wow. We actually can't take Naples this turn. It'll have to wait until next turn. So we're going to pull this ship back because it's going to get downed by uh, the enemy navy otherwise. But let's go ahead and get our uh, Indian artillery up to here as far as they'll go. Move along, move along. Yeah, and, and by the way, the bombardments that we keep seeing the enemy do is on Pomigliano, which belongs to the enemy. So why are they bombarding it? I'm very confused as to what's going on up there, but I don't think it's necessary to go exploring just quite yet. Uh, right, let's go ahead and use our company barrage over here. Can I hit? Ooh, I can. I can hit all three of these. Yeah, clear them out. Let's go. There we go. That should shut that gun up, hopefully. Sounds like it. Neat. So Naples is entirely undefended now for when we roll in, uh, which we'll have to wait, I suppose. You, my good friend, are going to pull back to here so that we can repair you right away. Definitely under threat, and we might want to consider our uh, naval superiority, or or lack thereof, I suppose I should call it. Uh, but let's, let's work on repairing first. So we can salvage it or we can repair it. I'm obviously going to try and repair this one. Uh, and is it going to get maxed out, or is it just a partial repair? Okay, that's quite significant. Now, another click here would cost us another 100 manpower. It would top up our, uh, our ship's health here, but is that a waste of manpower? What else are we really using it for, considering that we are at our population cap and, and all that's pretty pretty done for for the time being? I mean, once we secure Naples, our pop cap will increase slightly, but will it be by enough to allow for recruitment? And even then, is, are we are we consuming too much manpower? You know what? I think it's safe to go ahead and repair by one more step. Get this thing maxed out. It's our only ship right now. And we won't be able to recruit more until we actually go ahead and uh, build some at this shipyard. Which, as you can see, is a hefty investment in terms of time, manpower, fuel. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take some time for us to do that. Let's go ahead and move our uh, airborne company up as well. I, mean, I could send these guys up to uh, Pomigliano. But I'm just a little nervous about, about the value of doing that. I mean, the Indian artillery can take Naples on its own, I suppose. So why uh, why am I so worried? Why am I so worried? And, and, and what is this? This is a visual bug is what it is. 
I think that's the uh, munitions supply that we uh, picked up last session. But uh, for some reason, it's it's visually here, but it's not actually available for pickup. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and creep up this way because I do believe this is watching the area. And I can't remember exactly what it's watching, so we are taking a bit of a chance. Let's go into the trees. Maybe that'll keep us safe, and then we can make a, make a de make a decision <laughs> once we have some vision here. Nothing visible from here. What if we creep up to? Wow, well, now I can't get into these trees. Are you for real? Let's move up to there. Let's go. What's going on? I knew it. That's another visual glitch. We've already destroyed what's over here. And I vaguely remember doing that, but who knows what the AI does between turns, right? So we could have gotten a bit further. We could have gotten to Pomigliano, but here we are instead. Not the end of the world. Bit of a bummer. These guys will move in, both of them, next turn, I think. Let's uh, consider our detachments, though. Do we want to get howitzers placed over here? Is there any value in, in, in doing that? I'm just trying to figure out exactly where things should be placed. Uh, exactly who should be upgraded with what. I mean, the airborne... Uh, company here has different detachments. Logistics detachment allows for the construction of the supply cache, which keeps nearby companies and emplacements in supply. Ooh, okay. So when you're in enemy territory, that sounds good. The rifle detachment unlocks the uh, in-circle target ability to immobilize it. Then we have the howitzer detachment here as well. So you know what? Why don't we go ahead and get the howitzer detachment on uh, our airborne squad over here. Company, I should say. Sure. And that will now allow us to construct howitzer emplacements once we have enough pop. All right, fair enough, which we currently don't. Good to know. Separately, we could over here commit to the anti-aircraft detachment because, you know, the airborne don't have it. Do these guys down over here, the special forces have it? No, they don't. So the only people who can put down airborne detachments or airborne uh, defenses, anti-air emplacements, I should say, uh, are, are the Indian artillery. So it makes sense to, to actually give this detachment to them. We'll, we'll save up on the, uh, the, the manpower for the time being because we can't actually get anything down without uh, pop cap. So we'll leave that be. But the decision has, I think, been made. But there are some additional decisions we can actually make. We've got some skill points we can spend. So let's make sure we spend them before we actually dive into our next combat scenario. I think for our uh, Indian artillery, we're going to go ahead and chase after flame and bombardment. We have a few options right now. The uh, Gurkha war cry can be improved a little bit. The Gurkhas themselves can get a couple of improvements. We have the pillage option available now. We, we took bravery previously, but we have pillage available now, which means Gurkha rifles grant resources when they destroy infantry and vehicles. Not bad, not bad. Uh, or we could unlock the Humber. Uh, it's an armored car, which is also not bad. Uh, we've got the uh, Stuart available as well. I mean, again, there's, there's a lot of really good options. I think what I'm going to do, though, is use flame and bombardment. I mean, last session... Our uh, mortar team did a lot of work. As long as we were able to keep it firing, it was doing a lot of work. So I feel like we should double down on that, get flame and bombardment, and then perhaps consider uh, some of our other upgrades and options. It's it, it's very <laughs> paralyzed by choice. I'm paralyzed by choice. We're going to go with flame and bombardment, though. Sorry. Uh, I think that makes sense for the time being, based on how we operated last time. And for our airborne company over here, we're going to go ahead and uh, rather than upgrade the paratrooper airdrop, which is what I was discussing last time, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and chase after the P-47 rocket strike. I discussed making our airdrop loiter assisted, and I saw some comments that said it might be better to actually do veteran paratroopers, which you got a point there, I suppose. I, I, I'm still kind of mulling over that, but as I was doing that before I started recording this episode, I realized, well, hang on a second, we have the option to get a heavy machine gun paradrop instead, and we have an option to get the P-47 rocket strike. And I feel like that P-47 rocket strike might be a good idea. Again, working in tandem with artillery barrages and stuff to push the enemy around. They're pretty good at dodging airstrikes and stuff. But, uh, you know, if we get lucky, excellent. If we level a few buildings that they're occupying, excellent. So I feel like the rocket strike makes sense. And in the future, if we ever find ourselves with one point as opposed to two, I might get that HMG para drop. Typically, I preach patience as far as upgrades are concerned. Uh, but I feel like we're in a situation here with a campaign where we need some upgrades early on quickly, and then maybe we can consider saving up for some of the bigger investments, you know, like the uh, the Hellcat tank destroyer or, or, or whatever it might be. Nonetheless, that's these guys taken care of. Let's take a look at our boys down over here. They can't scale up, but they can hit Alta Villa, though it looks as though the enemy squad over here, enemy company over here, has uh, recovered their strength. To a great degree. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Are we able to do anything about it? We are short on uh, munitions. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Now what happens if I strike at Alta Villa? 
Will they assist? Are they just out of reach? I'm not 100% sure. Can I just take the city? And then wait for them to attack us instead, which is a little concerning. Which is just a little concerning. You know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's dive on into Alta Villa and, and, and see what happens. Kill quickly, man. I feel as though we're just going to capture that city, even though these guys are right next to it. Yeah, so that's ours. And... I guess we'll wait for these guys to come at us. Uh, they have the advantage based on the, uh, the the numbers over here. We will have support from our battleship should they decide to attack us, but I don't know if that's going to be enough this time. I don't know if that's going to be enough this time. And I'm just wondering what we might want to do here. I have the option of pulling back, I suppose. I could give these guys a supply drop. We have that ability which would uh, replenish their uh, action points and, and movement and all that good stuff. I don't know if that's the right call. We're way too far away for artillery support. Our uh, airfield over here, while it can unlock fighters and bombers, it can't actually recruit them because, again, there is the, uh, the the manpower cost. And can we not repair our Douglas? Requires damaged. Oh, no, this is our Douglas. Where is my loiter? I keep calling it my loiter. My, my grasshopper? It got shot down? No, no, it's still available. So where are you? <laughs> What's going on? That thing. That thing is horribly beat up. Ooh, yeah, I'm hmm, not sure. Not sure. Now is not the time for experimentation, though. Let's go ahead and hit the end turn button, see what the AI gets up to. We're in a position to take Naples, Pomigliano, uh, at the same time, while potentially losing this uh, company over here. Let's see what happens. Just fall back. There, there's no need to hit me here. Ooh. A letter arrived today from uh, Mr. G. Norton. Oh, dear. The things he said about you, General Bakram. Shocking. Just trying to sow dissent amidst the brass. It's okay. We're not going to fall for their wily schemes. Now, is that just a recon? I think that's just recon. And that's a ship. And that's an attack. Okay. A little concerned about this one. They've got uh, they've got recon run and strafing run, so we got to be very careful about that. Uh, we do have our battleship bombardment available to us, and I want to make sure I'm staying on top of the use of that as much as possible. We did well with the Special Forces Company last session, but uh, these circumstances feel just a little different. Just different enough. I could retreat to retain our, uh, our company, at least. Um, but then we're almost guaranteed to lose Alta Villa and... I don't know if I'm really ready to do that. So, uh, to the battlefield we go. Let's do this. Infantry support research completed. All right, men. Assemble. We may be on the defense, but that what just means we're in a better we're position to, to bring the fight position. to the Luke's enemy. Up, we're up. If we can Come surround on. their Get HQ, the we'll have a chance to force a retreat. All right, interesting. Uh, so we got to capture all territory around the enemy base. Oh, we got to capture these two points. Okay, very different kind of, uh, that's a very different kind of objective. I am curious as to how that's going to play out. Send our scout squad up to here, let's go. And these guys, after they're done, let's send them up to there, actually. So capture this point, and then let's go up to there. These guys are going through this way. Again, recon captures a little bit faster, so we got to keep that in mind. We do have our uh, Captain Retinue over here as well. Let's send you... Uh, up to here. Let's get some line of sight. Let's get some scouting going. Let's try and uh, get some pressure on nice and early, I think is the right call. If we can get an anti-tank gun, this might be a little too early for that, but uh, got to keep that in mind when enemy armor starts rolling through, right? And we do have an armored personnel carrier light vehicle armed with 50 cal machine gun. Uh, can reinforce infantry. That sounds like a must-have. We'll get a heavy machine gun out soon as well. We're going to cap this point soon. We're going to cap this point soon. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And you know what? Let's get another scout squad out there. Or just to get the uh, the rifle grenades out, and just to get the uh, faster caps out, I think is not a bad idea. Down here, and let's creep up to here, let's go. And let's creep up to uh, here, let's go. How are we looking? Move you up a little bit. See how quickly we can get the job done here. Alright. Anti-tank conversion, medical conversion. Got some good options here. Let's put them to good use. Use mines to kill enemies? Sure. The boys are Interesting directive. I don't know how necessary that is, but uh, fair enough. Make it quick. Need some recon, sir? 
All right, we're doing we're doing okay so far, which concerns me. Shouldn't be this easy. Shouldn't be this quiet. Would not be this quiet. Move you up. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Off a grenade. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Pop that. Pop that. These guys can move up. Good hit. Send these guys over to. Oh wow, that's actually the uh, the surround point. Okay. These guys are coming up though. Get them in a cover. Get some work done. And these guys up to there. Now we're looking over here. Let's go and cap that. Yeah, let's go for it. Can't be this easy. Frag grenade up over here. Let's go. And let's bring these guys back to uh, replenish. While oh, these guys are busy. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> here come the reinforcements. All right. Fire away, fire away. Um, against this? Are you kidding me? Oh, here we go. Timing on that was a little off, but that battleship bombardment is coming through, and hopefully it's going to get some work done. Nice. Little bit, little bit. Little bit. Back over here, can we recruit uh, some more scout squads? Let's go. Lost these guys, eh? That might have been a little wasteful, actually. A little late, a little early. Not sure exactly, but uh, not ideal. Pull these guys back, actually. Just a little worried about that. Here's our HMG. Let's creep you up this way. Let's go. And these guys are replenishing. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's get some rifleman squad out. And we should be able to pull this off, actually. Just gotta apply pressure at the right times. Pull you back. And let's send these guys up. Let's go. Good shooting. All right. Hey, yeah, let's group up to here, and we'll push up from there. I need some uh, engineers, actually. Not enough resources. It'll take some time for that. Send you up this way. Let's go. go let's go. Let's go quickly. It's a lot of numbers up that way, actually. Let's send these guys up here, just because I feel like these guys might need some reinforcements. And yeah, I do need some uh, engineers out there. 200. Okay. I'm right, looking over here. We got some support. That's good. These guys coming through. Into this building, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Where's the HMG facing? Doesn't look like the right direction. That's all I'm going to say about that. Keep creeping these guys up. Move these guys behind cover. That the vehicle counts as. It looks as though they have uh, artillery support, eh? Gotta be careful about that. Come on, come on, keep at it, keep at it. Back over here. Engineers, let's go. Scaring these guys off. Excellent. All right. Let's push up. Up to here. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Move. Hop out. And let's go. Heavy machine gun. Let's place you like so. That should give us decent coverage. These rifles are up here. Excellent. Where are my engineers? Let's get you up over here. And let's go ahead and get, uh, as soon as we can, another armored personnel carrier. Shouldn't be too long now. Up out on this side. Ooh, this isn't good. God damn. So that's HMG up over here. Pull these guys back. Pop a rifle grenade up over here. Scare them off. Pop a rifle grenade up over there. Let's go. Good hit. Good hit. Excellent. Finish them off. Let's go. Finish them off. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, that's good. Gotta take care of that. Yeah, yeah, we're working on that. What do you mean the reserves are on the way? What is that supposed to mean? What the hell is this? How did they get behind us? Oh, that's how. Ticket bomb, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Try and get some work done. Satchel charge, let's go. I'm gonna pull these guys back a little bit. Okay, we need some reinforcements up over there, it seems. How are we looking over here? Pull these guys over, I suppose. The heavy machine gun up over here. And how's this looking? Not too hot, truth be told. Not too hot. Grenades out, let's go. 
These guys are coming up, but to what end? God damn. Well, we caused some damage, but not nearly enough. Get some rifles up. Don't know if you should go that far up. Send buddy back. 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Can I apply some pressure over here? Make sure we hold on to that. Stay to the side over here. Just to keep eyes on, on the prize, basically. 10 seconds. Should be good. Just applying pressure over here. This should be good. We hanging tight over here as well? Yes, indeed. Good cover. Good pressure. There we go. Oh, boy. All right. All right. We just had to be very aggressive there before they got wild reinforcements like what we were seeing there. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Units killed 27. MVP is an engineer squad with two kills. Are you for real right now? Bonus objective completed plus one skill point. I don't recall. Okay, I'll take it. But uh, you know what? Hey, <laughs> that was a lot faster than I'd anticipated. Again, some of these battles are going to last just like 10 minutes. Some of these battles are going to last an hour. It really depends on the, the setup. It depends on the balance of power. It depends on just so many variables. Uh, we were just extremely aggressive here. And so we came out on top. So I'm not going to complain about that. Not going to complain about that. Good stuff. Back to the campaign map. All right. How much damage do we actually cause to this uh, company of theirs? Skirmish victory. Good to see. Making some progress. Making some progress. Good stuff. But I want to see how much work we actually got done. Come on. Pan the camera over. That's pretty good. Got them down to about 50%. That's pretty good. And we have vision because we actually took Alta Villa. And so we know exactly where they're standing if we want to chase them down. Which I think I want to do. This guy over here has chased us to Salerno, and that's going to cause a fair bit of damage. I'm glad we uh, we we topped up our repairs over here, because that's troubling. Now, I do wonder if I can take that thing out. We might have to uh, counter it. We need help. There are soldiers trying to find us. They shot Allegra. Allegra is dead. 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 In three turns, we have to locate the distress call. Well, good thing we uh, split our troops up, I guess, because then uh, our airborne over here can, can can seek that out before taking Pomigliano, I suppose. Whereas the Indian artillery is going to keep moving towards Naples. Man, these guys are quite slow, aren't they? Damn. But I think that's the right call. Let's go ahead and uh, keep creeping these guys up. Hopefully they haven't rebuilt any of these uh, emplacements or anything. And why don't we go ahead and do what over here? Do Let's, let's maybe take Pomigliano first. Because we have some time to, uh, to to locate the distress call. They were on a mission already, so let's complete that mission and then see if we can't uh, hit up this uh, this distress call. Sure, that seems reasonable. My only concern is, are things pointing at Pomigliano? Are these guys going to get beat up on their way over? And should I instead use patrol? Increases company line of sight and reveals enemy forces, but disables attack, capture, and most abilities. Ah, that means we're not going to be able to capture Pomigliano. Let's go for it. What's life without risks, right? Oh, what do you know? Located the distress call. Sir, it appears some of the locals have been pinned down by German forces. Our men are underprepared. But we could attempt to assist them. Oh man. The idea of engaging when underprepared does not appeal to me, but at the same time, we came here to liberate the people of this beautiful nation. Should we really let them die at the hands of the Germans? I don't think so. I think engaging the German forces over here might appeal to General Norton. And I think it's a good, uh, I think it's a good call. We might lose some, uh, some valuable lives over here, but, uh, everything comes with a cost, doesn't it? Engage the German forces. Immediately, sir. Commander, my name is Eleonora Valenti, and I speak for the local partisan resistance groups. German troops are attacking a nearby town, and partisan defenders are being overwhelmed. We need allied help. All right. Looks like the locals could do with a hand. What do you need? All right, right men. All right. The partisans are in that town. A couple of our squads have already started up the hill. We'll join them closer to the top. 
Sounds good. Clear the partisan holdout. I mean, I assume it's uh, it's helping them out uh, up over here. So let's go ahead and uh, and push on up. Now, uh, again, I'm going to be real with you. I did not expect this to become a mission right off the bat. Uh, so that's a bit of a surprise. I also find it kind of funny. I was asked in the comments of the previous episode, hey, when are we going to meet our, uh, you know, third uh, a commander whose loyalty we're trying to gain? And, uh, well, here we are. Here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and try and sneak by over here. Ooh, we got a sniper assisting us. Forward base. Flush the German forces out and get set up. Yes, we do. All right. Flamethrower on the building, because that's going to do a lot for us, I think. Keep some supporting fire coming through. In we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come on. Flush them out. Let's go. One more. One more. It looks like the uh, partisan holdout actually has a health bar, so we are on a bit of a time limit, I suppose. Which I think we'll hopefully be able to beat. Not exactly the Ritz, is it? All right, man. Never mind. It'll do. Jump to it, boys. All right. These guys have been flushed out. What now? Intervention is at hand. Relocating up, boys. Relocation. Anti-tank weapon. Can't leave it lying around. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, some artillery support coming out. And uh, replenishment or uh, resource generation isn't happening all that quickly. But if I could get ourselves a couple of riflemen out there, I think I'd be pretty pleased. Maybe some bazookas wouldn't be a bad idea either. Well, these guys picked up a bazooka, so that's good. We have ourselves a sniper. That's good, too. Let's get the artillery support out. And then I think that'll be uh, everything we need for a decent push. A little nervous. A little nervous, not gonna lie. Maybe a Pathfinder squad isn't a bad idea. No, I would like some more uh, riflemen. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Get that 260 manpower, and then we can get a rifleman squad out, and I'll feel just that much better. We do not have access to anything else. It's all over here. And there we go. Rifleman squad. Artillery, let's go ahead and move you up to here. See what we can see, and, and hit what we can hit as we uh, prepare to push up. Because we know these guys are located up there. If we get it from uh, behind them, they'll be in a lot of trouble. We could start with uh, softening them up. We also have the smoke bombing run available to us. We have the paratrooper squad para drop, and uh, we'll try and make good use of that stuff. Again, this is the first time I'm actually playing with these guys in charge, as opposed to uh, our Indian artillery and these guys as backup, right? So uh, that'll be interesting. Riflemen, let's uh, creep you guys up to here. I saw some enemies up over here. I thought. Can we not uh, high explosive barrage just out of reach. Eh? Well, that can be arranged. Move you up to here. Get the high explosive barrage coming through. Bring these guys up the corner over here. Maybe a little bit further up. There we go. Alright, high explosive barrage. Right on that uh, heavy machine gun. Hopefully get the job done. And up over here. Oh, this isn't great. Come on, give me a good hit. It's not as much damage as I was hoping for, I'll be honest with you. Frag rain up over here. Oh, that'll be useless. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Pull these guys back, actually. Sniper's getting some good work done. Let's get to work over here. Sniper's still getting some work done. Ah, no vision anymore. Clear the blockade. Where is the blockade? Waiting for some intel. Damn. Counter sniped? I guess. Get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Let's go. Could have been worse. Pull you back as well. Didn't expect this much resistance, not gonna lie. Alright. Thought we'll have a nice and easy opening. Let's get a sniper out because they were quite effective. We got we got we got some time. We got some time. Let's not let's not rush things too much and, and find ourselves in trouble. Clear the blockade on the road. Oh I see. So they sent more troops in. Artillery support, high explosive. Pop you down over here just to clear the stuff out. That should help. These guys are almost done. Sniper's almost in as well. Let's go ahead and fire up over here. Toss some grenades, let's go. Not ideal. <laughs> Not even remotely. Get in a cover over here. And artillery support is doing alright, I think so. Stuff, good stuff. These guys are in cover, firing away. And we're able to push these guys up as well. Let's go. Sniper's almost ready too. Then we can continue applying pressure. Ah, stay put there. Stay put there. There's our sniper. Let's go. Fire, please. There we go. These guys can't chill, can they?
Let's go. Push up. Push up, push up, push up. Send our uh, flamethrowers up over here, perhaps. Thought I saw some uh, enemy units up here. Yeah, we can finish these guys off, I think. And we can finish these guys off, too. Come on, open fire. Yeah, excellent. Fire up over here, too. Bring these rifles back. Got some grenades over here, I think. Pull you back. Fire away. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're pushing these guys back. We're a little pinned, I think. Artillery support's coming through, though. Causing some damage. Get you out of there. Don't want you on fire. Pull these guys out. All right. Can we recruit some more units? Yes, we can. More riflemen, please. Good work by the artillery. Push you up. Sniper, let's creep you up to here. Try and cap this point real quick. And then move towards that blockade. Wow. Okay, we, we got a lot of work to do, actually. We got a lot of work to do. Good stuff. Keep capping that point. These guys are replenishing. We're recruiting as well. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Lost our sniper, didn't we? Yes, indeed. That sniper was quite capable. And these guys up. Let's go. Oh, we're looking over here. Replenishing, yes. Ready to move. Alright. Keep these guys up. Toss some grenades. If it's even going to be necessary by the time the artillery squad is done with them. Probably. Doesn't hurt. These guys are coming through. Let's go. Get out, get out, get out. Wow, good shooting. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, everyone's here. Can we get uh, high explosive barrage out over here? Let's go. It's a good spot, I think. Let's get these guys up to here. These guys have joined us. Let's go. Gotta be careful here. There is an HMG down here. I wonder if we should pick that up. Probably a good idea. And artillery support is coming through. Be firing away. These guys are up top there. Let's get you into this building over here. There's our HMG. Let's get you into that building. Gotta be careful because they do have uh, flamethrowers, right? And those those uh, flamethrowers are going to cause us trouble. If we're not careful. Where is my artillery support? Push up. Toss grenades. Let's go these guys out. Get them in there. Quickly now, quickly now. How are we looking? Pull you back a little bit. A lot of fire over here. Pull back a touch, pull back a touch. A real cover right now, which I don't like. Where's my uh, artillery support? Fire away, let's go. There we go. Come on. Beauty. Need more of that. Need some of that up over here as well. We do have smoke support. Haven't needed it yet. Maybe I should have pulled the trigger on that a little bit sooner. HMG up over here is doing some good work. Yeah, excellent. Let's move these guys up. Take some cover as we suppress the enemy. And artillery support has done well, I think. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. They have some troops up over there as well. We might need to clear those guys out. So let's go ahead and move these guys up. And hopefully we'll be able to replenish up over here. We won't have to pull back to our temporary uh, base. Pull these guys out. Pull you up to here. Great. We'll almost uh, be ready to go. Keep up as well. Let's go. There it is. Pop those grenades. And where's my artillery support? Alright. We'll be good. We'll be good. Send these guys up as well. Let's go. Good hit. They're running. We're gunning. Come on. Drop him. Drop that fool. Push up. Push up. Grab that. I think that's a bazooka. Could come in handy in, uh, in a moment. There we go. Well done. Partisan holdout has been cleared out. Nick of time. In the nick of time. Okay, men. The town's clear, but the Krauts have got more troops heading this way. We didn't get this far to back off now. Prep for the counterattack. Engineers standing by. All right, let's get in a position. Welcome, Corporal. We have medical supplies if you need them. And if you'd like to stick around and shoot a few more Germans, I won't object. Ha ha. We'll see what we can do. Keep that formation tight. Alright, sounds good. Let's get these guys over to here. Get them all healed up. Replenished, maxed out. See what we can do. We're actually at our pop cap right now, so no one's going to replenish. But hey, we've got numbers, so there's that. Saboteur squad. Anti-tank satchel charges. Okay. These are a lot of new units in my hands right now, and I don't know how to operate them, so this will be interesting. we got a minute and 29 seconds to prepare for a counterattack. 
Uh, we are healing up. I suppose I should set up uh, some defenses and some, some positions, I guess. What do we actually have available to us? Do we have any defensive structures available? We did not recruit any uh, engineers, but we have field defenses. Great. High explosive demolition charge. Plants a timed heavy explosive at the target location. Upon building the charge, the squad will relocate to a safe distance, effective against bridges, buildings, or emplacements. Not uh, people or tanks, though. Fair enough. What do you need? How are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? Marksman team. Let's get you uh, up top over here. Good lines of sight. Come on. Right? Anti-infantry. Anti Artillery squad, you're probably good where you are. What is this? We got ourselves a Panzer Shrek. Might as well pick that up. I expect to see some enemy uh, armor. We got a bazooka. You can grab that. Oh, what do we got? Enemy positions already, eh? Yeah, south from up. Go for it. Go for it, go for it. Try and heal these guys up. Get these guys up to there. Let's go. These guys up to here. These guys are badly hurt. I don't know if they'll be able to heal up. There's our heavy machine gun. We could position this uh, maybe up over here, I think. Probably a good spot, right? Getting into that building. How are we looking otherwise? God, these uh, commando squads I gotta get uh, used to. We can switch to uh, LMGs between two bazookas or two light machine guns. Gotcha, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's stick with this for the time being. Hopefully we've prepared well enough. Hopefully we've prepared well enough. Where's my machine gun team? Yeah. Good stuff. Let's see what they get up to. I assume they're going to come up this way. Hopefully we have that uh, space locked down. As they make their way up over here. I could send somebody up to scout. Right? Like we could send these guys up. We get uh, eyes on the enemy. Some machine guns, light machine guns, Panzer Shreks. Incendiary grenades. Uh, see, we need, need eyes on the prize. You're gonna come up this way, aren't you? And that way. Every way that I'm not covering, of course. These guys out there. Yeah, fire up that way. Let's go. Get the uh, machine gun set up over here. Let's go. Let's go as quickly as possible. And I could try and send these guys up to uh, to, to pop some incendiary grenades when these guys get uh, clumped up a little bit, if that opportunity presents itself. Artillery support is coming through. Flamethrower is doing well. Yeah. Satchel charges. Can't get that far. They do have some vehicles back there, though. I would like to hit those with the satchel charges. Let's go. Move you up. Flamethrower is doing okay. Artillery doing okay. These guys not doing so hot. Let's see what we can do. Saboteur squad killed. Don't love that. Okay, let's go. That's a This is a dangerous place to be. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a satchel, pull back, retreat. Are these guys in a cover up over here. Good hit. Really good hit, actually. These guys, how you doing? And send your grenade. You can get kind of far, but they're gonna run for sure. Get these guys out of there. It's out in the open eating shots. We're doing okay. I need you out here. I need you looking in the right direction. Come on, get out of there. Let's go. Get these guys up here. I just wonder if we should pull back a little bit. Pull these guys back. Let's go back to here. Heavy machine gun getting some work done. Yeah, excellent. Got these guys suppressed. They do have some artillery support back there. Don't love that. Can I get some satchel charges on that thing? Can I get some satchel charges on that thing? Let's push up to here. I don't think so. We're very exposed right now. Pull back. My engineers. Oh, this just gives us access to saboteurs, eh? We can't recruit from back over here yet. Okay, fair enough. Or any more, I should say, perhaps. How are we doing? Bazooka's up over here. Can we hit that? Looks like it. Artillery support coming in as well. At the mortars, but I don't know if they're doing enough. Like machine gun doing okay. Alright, let's pull these guys out. Because they do have grenades. And they have uh, sticky bombs. Might need that up over here. Get you out, get you out, get you out. They're trying to clear us out. Not if I have something to say about it. Can we counter clear him out? Let's go. Sticky bomb, let's go. There it is. Pull back. Nice engine damage. Let's get back in here and try and get some bazooka shots. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 
Where is my artillery support? Up over here. Let's go. Bring this down over here. Heavy machine gun. Let's push you up a little bit. Can I get another sticky bomb or some grenades? Come on. Got to pull these guys back to heal them up. Now what is that? Air support. Taking a lot of damage. All right, let's creep up this way. I think we have a clearing over here. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. That is a lot of support for the enemy. Which I was not ready for. Move you up, let's go. Saboteur squads, sure. Fire up there. Bazookas, let's move. Look to the bazookas. Let's go. Move these guys up as well. Let's go. Have a machine gun up over here. Good side hit up there. Keep at it. More partisans. Yeah, excellent. These guys have the uh, satchel charges, right? Send these guys up a little bit. Can I not recruit familiar troops? I can indeed. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, some riflemen out. Let's go. Can't put a waypoint down, it looks like. Fair enough, fair enough. Pull these guys back. Let's go. Pull these guys back. Suppressing volley. No. Fall back. Lost some commandos, it looks like. Fair trooper. Let's bring him in. Let's go. Anywhere. Need some support over here. Pull up to there. There we go. Support coming through. Let's creep up and try and take care of this vehicle over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Get away. Engine damage. Not too bad. Get you up there. Get these paratroopers up over here. Let's go. Get these guys up. Let's go. Look at those flamethrowers. I'm pretty sure that's a flamethrower right there. Got some bazookas over here. Let's push them up. There's a flamethrower unit. Fire away. Oh, God. Pull back from that. Where's my anti-tank? Bazookas. Let's get you, uh... Let's get you in there. Let's go. Let's get these guys up in here as well. Pull you back a little bit. Damn. Should have been a bit more careful about that. Pull these guys back. Bazooka's firing away. Or paratroopers. Let's bring them down up there. Surprise the enemy. Hot damn. Pop that on there. I said pop that on there. Let's go. Why are you not going to let me use that? I'm in desperate need. Keep firing away. Focus fire on this one. These are rifles. Let's pu push them up. Can't get more. We could try and pull the uh, flamethrower up a little bit. Good shooting there. Pull the paratroopers up over there. Let's go. Fire up there. We're almost done here. We're almost done here. We took a lot of losses. Bazookas. Fire away. Take care of this thing, please. There's a flamethrower. And bazookas. Get the job done, please. Come on. Side hit. Give me another one. Give me another one. Come on. There it is. Beautiful. Wow. All right. Took a lot of losses. Crouts are retreating, men. Good work. Not sure how much use the locals will be, but I guess it's better to have them on our side. Mission complete. Mission complete. All right, man. That was uh, that was good. You know, I that was not my finest hour. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was not my finest hour. Completely caught out of position with all of those uh, commando squads and the uh, saboteur squads and stuff. They seem really cool, but I've not used them even once before. So just trying to learn what they do without using tactical pause. I'm trying to play this entire run, by the way without using tactical pause. Uh, hopefully we never have to. Desperate times call for desperate measures, but hopefully we never have to use it. So, you know, learning what these units do on the fly was definitely uh, arguably a terrible idea. But hey, we came out on top. Victory is ours. Let's see what this does for us, shall we? Thank you for your help, Commander. Our own operations must remain a priority, but I've asked the local parties and groups to assist your forces wherever they can.
Sounds good. Not sure exactly how that's going to translate, but sounds good. Looks like we have some additional support. Just looking at the uh, icons over here. So this is, oh, this is just our airfield. That's our uh, recon. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, ooh, what are these icons? And I was panning over to them. And then I realized, nope, that's just quick uh, references for where our troops actually are. Fair enough. Rather, what troops we have. Okay. Okay, I'll figure out what exactly they mean by uh, that end statement, I suppose. And I got to figure out what we do with what remains of these enemy forces. They have uh, anti-aircraft emplacement up over here, and this is anti-tank facing this way. We will want to eliminate that eventually. We cannot, unfortunately, chase down uh, the infantry uh, company over here because we are currently all tuckered out. Though, what does it say here? Zone of control. The highlighted area around a company represents its zone of control. Your companies cannot move through enemy zones of control. And enemy companies cannot move through yours. Try to position your companies along roads or choke points to block enemy paths and force them to engage. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That makes sense. I, I figured that's what was going on. Again, I've played a lot of Total War, so that seems relatively familiar. Though, is there a reason why? Like, how do I... Okay, are you going to pop up again? We good? We good. Cool. So these guys... I guess these guys weren't the ones involved in that battle. Because we don't have any uh, skills or anything available for them. What's going on at uh, Pomigliano? Anything over here? Uh, we can buy some stuff if we want to, but we're already at our pop cap, so can't actually buy anything. All right, a little uncertain as to what the uh, the the earned resources there were that uh, that were being referred to. You know what might be the case? Once we hit end turn, it might actually pop out. Fair enough. Are we able to take Naples right now, or have we? No, we've uh, we've exhausted our movement, so we can't hit Naples just quite yet. And down over here, do we? Oh, are you for real? You moved quite far away, eh? They move quite far away. We could give chase, but I don't know what else is waiting for us, I suppose. We can see the entirety of this province, at least, and it looks as though there's nothing down this way. We've conquered everything. So it's just a matter of moving up, perhaps, towards Campania, which does make sense. Um, we have, what, some major missions at Potenza, Montella, uh, uh, not Avellino, no, uh, Benevento, Calitri. Oh, no, that's just a skirmish. Interesting to see how it's labeled, what you're actually going to face, and you can kind of plan and prepare accordingly. And folks, if you want to keep up with the planning and preparing and the progress of this mission, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Again, the plan is to keep this series going until completion if there is interest, and currently there's plenty of interest, at least from me. If you're interested, hitting like is a great way to let me know. Leaving a comment down below is also a great way to let me know. And subscribing is a great way to stay up to date with it all. Uh, I noticed that last episode had about 40% of viewership from uh, non-subscribers. Again, people have reasons for not subscribing. Sometimes people are watching uh, not logged into their accounts. That's all well and good, but if you just forgot to subscribe and you'd like to, here's your reminder. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can actually do down over here with this bad boy. Can I, can I hit you? I should be able to hit you. It says I can hit you. How much damage will I actually cause, though? That's what I'm not sure about. Wait, well, hey, only one way to find out, I suppose. Let's uh, fire away and see what it does for us. Oh, nothing. That's not very good. Let's go ahead and repair you, I suppose. It costs 100 manpower, but uh, this thing has been crucial to our successes. Anytime we've used battleship bombardment right on the battlefield, it's because this thing's been around. So how do I eliminate this thing? How do I, how do I get rid of you? Z23 class. Um, we haven't really, it's not been tutorialized. It hasn't told us, oh yeah, if you're dealing with naval circumstances, do such and such. I presume we would want to build, uh, you know, much like uh, much like they did, we, we would want to build uh, coastal artillery. But I'm sure we should be able to purchase some ships that, uh, that could do what we need to do. The Mahan class destroyer. Destroyer type, excelling area of effect damage with a bombardment ability. They can provide bombardment support to nearby companies engaged in real-time battles. South Dakota class battleship is what we have. Excelling at troop deployment and area of effect damage with their bombardment ability. They can support nearby companies engaged in real-time battles. Okay, but what do I actually do about the enemy ships? If you have any uh, suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. We got to think about that as over here, we continue, I think, to push towards Campania. Uh, I'm a little nervous about what the enemy might be up to, so I wonder if we don't use patrol. Increases company line of sight and reveals enemy forces, but disables attack, capture, and most abilities. Well, we're not looking to use any abilities right now, right? I suppose... Nope, we can't even do any of these, right? Because that takes uh, manpower and we don't have any of that. So, sure, let's try it. Let's use patrol. See what we can see. Not all that much more, but that tells us at least it's safe to move on up to the roads up over here. Or do we take tree cover? Because being out in the open isn't really great for uh, for your soldiers. 
thought I saw a spot where the broken shield isn't there. Being an open road is bad for uh, for cover and stuff. Being at least on planes is, is better. So sure, let's creep up to here. See a little bit further. Looks like this is all they've got over here. No support nearby, and Campania is uh, is not too far away. Cool. Let's hit the end turn button, see what the AI does, and then move in towards uh, Naples to secure it and increase our foothold. I'm a little nervous about this down over here. How long can we keep repairing that ship before it gets uh, completely wrecked? Anyway, time will tell. End our turn. See what the AI does. We might find ourselves in an engagement up over here. But let's see what happens. What do you got for me? Nothing? It's thinking. Oh, here we go. No, that's just recon. So I do hear some explosions off in the distance. And what are you going to get up to? Oh, you're going to open fire over here, I assume. Right? Why wouldn't you? Of course you will. There it is. And that time it didn't cause a lot of damage. Are you for real? These guys are going to chase after us? They don't even have the upper hand all that much. Should I auto-resolve this or... Should I fight it? I feel like we should fight it. We've got to be okay here, right? I feel like we should fight this. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what they have up their sleeve. This destroyer bombardment, perhaps. But we should be able to take them on. Let's go. Now, folks, as much as I would love to take this engagement on right here and now, fact of the matter is we're very close to that hour mark, and uh, this battle could last a very long time if uh, things go sideways. So, instead of fighting right now, we're going to kick off the next episode with this engagement and see where things take us. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a very big difference. Just letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel, letting me know how I should maybe adjust my approach and make sure everyone's having a good time. Apart from that, again, just a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and you're enjoying this series. And apart from that, folks, if you haven't yet joined the Discord linked in the description down below and uh, you're looking for a community to play Company of Heroes 3 or other strategy games with, that is a great place to do exactly that. So feel free to join the Discord again, linked in the description down below. With that said, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.